Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video, and this is going to be my review of the Leeds United 1 Arsenal 4. Um, In this game, there's not really much I can say, really. What can I say? We started off strong, we looked so good in the first half, and then Aileen gives away a penalty. In my opinion, not a penalty. If you look at the decision that I've got our way this season, compared to when we play the Big Six, um, when Lonley, um, who t rugby tackled Melly into the goal, nothing wrong with that. You know, um, Bamford against Arsenal, the little brush, that's a foul. That's always a foul because it's a big six team. This is the softest penalty I've ever seen. Ailing, if even if he touched him, it's a little nick. It's a little touch. Touch, that's how much power was in it. That much. And he's gone down like he's been shot, wins a penalty. And guess what? The VR aren't going to overturn that because it's a big six team. And it's Arsenal. And I can say whatever I want, but Arsenal fans will still cry and say the rest are against them when they're, they're not. And every single Big Six fan can keep saying that because they're not. But, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the team performance. I don't know really know much to say. Um, I'm happy with the team performance. Um, ben White. Ben White, that's, a just, that's just a disgrace. Celebrating the way he did when he scored against us. That's a disrespectful. Put your hands up and give us... And when Nketiah scored against us last year in the Cup, he did this. He didn't celebrate. I think that was in the Cup. Yeah, in the FA Cup. At, at, uh, when we played there in the FA Cup. I'm pretty sure we played there in the FA Cup. No, I think that was last season. I'm pretty sure that was last season. And Nketiah puts his hands up like this and doesn't celebrate when he scores. What does Ben White do? Run off celebrating. How about show some respect for the club that made you into a player? But uh, we'll move on from that. I think that's just disrespectful for what he did. And I think he should show respect because before us, he was a no one. Poor Leeds United, he was a no one. But we can move past that. They scored their third, and it just kept getting worse and worse. Then we actually scored. Can you believe it? Jesus scored that penalty. He scored the third as well. I don't know what our defence was doing, especially going back on that Ben White goal. What was our defence doing? No one's on him. No one's marking him at the back stick. No one's on him. Jack Harrison's the closest player there, which I think he was supposed to mark him, and he's just gone out of nowhere, and then bang, it's in the back of the net. Jesus then scores another goal. Um, I think they played really, he played really well today against us. I think he played well, um, three 0 up, and then Rasmus Christensen scored an absolute screamer. <laughs> he's he just he just hit he just did a hit and hope, and it's in the back of the net. Um, players that I'm happy about, I think Furpo, no debate now, he's a great player. Um, other players, uh, Rocker, Rocker, I thought would played well. I thought the whole team played well. There's no one, and then like the substitutes, even Ruta comes on and. Shows his class on the side, not down the middle of the striker. On the side, as I've been saying every time. Um, Bamford come. Bamford gets a yellow card from doing nothing. Basically, he got he got like four or five fouls against him from players on from their defense just diving and moaning and then winning, getting every single free kick. That was so bullshit. It was about four or five in the last five minutes. Where after Bamford came on and he was actually putting pressure on him. So what they do? They just throw themselves to the floor. Foul and the ref bought it every single time, and then Bamford ends up getting booked. Like it's ridiculous. Like honestly, um, Rodrigo came on, didn't really notice him do much. I mean, it, we're already four one down at that point. Like, what are we gonna do? So no, um, I'm pretty sure the reason we're not playing, we didn't play Rodrigo and Bamford is we're saving them for the next game. So if we're gonna play them up front together, I can see that. But if we're not playing them together in the next match, why are they both not there? Why is one of them not playing? You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we just have to take the positives that we, because there was a lot of positive in this fun performance, we just have to take the positives, move on to the midweek game against Nottingham Forest, and then move into the game on the weekend against Crystal Palace, those two are massive wins, I've been doing previews of those, um, there's not really much to say on this game, I think we have played well, I think, you could say we're a bit unlucky to concede for, but Arsenal, top tier opponent, they're going to probably win the Premier League, and I hope they do. I think they deserve it. Um, this has just been a short one because I don't really have much to say. I've been, I have been—I was watching the game during my watching and saying, really don't have much to say about this game, you know? There's not much to say. If you like the video, much sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you thought on the game because I didn't really see, like, much wrong. There's not much to talk about, really. Arsenal just outclassed us because they have such a great team. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next time. Peace!